Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Priya. Today videos, I will bring you guys to see a Cambodian daily life at the countryside. And this is Mr. Kien, and he's gonna drive me to see the village by the special transportation called Oxcart. It's very cool, huh? Just come and check it out with me. There is beautiful countryside throughout Siem Reap, Cambodia. We are visiting a commune called Trio. It is about 7 km from the town. Oxcarts were not just used by farmers for transportation and plowing. They were also used by the army to transport weapons and soldiers during the wars in the past. But nowadays, since the technology has improved remarkably, ox guards has been replaced by many different kinds of transportation. You can find some stone carvings of ox guards on the walls of many temples in Cambodia, which shows just how long they have been useful. There are about 2,000 families living in this village. 80% of them are farmers. They grow all different types of vegetables and rice. Besides that, they feed buffalo and they sell them to the market. In this village, we can learn about their daily life and how they grow vegetables and care for their chickens and ducks. We are at the first stop now. We're going to go and see the little market in this area. So that was my first time. The riding the ox cart, that was so much fun. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Chiriu Commune, Chiriu Market. So, uh, my name is Mr. Panet. Nice to see you. I'm a leader of the Oxcart community. The first of all, this is the culture, my culture head. Yes. That we provide you during the village tour and Oxcart tour. So, Perfect. to protect the, the sun. So that's why we provide you here. Thank you, Bong. Yeah. Lovely. Thank yeah. you. I'm so, very excited to get to learn and yeah, see the you. inside. Okay. Welcome to the see the Chiriu market. Chiriu market. Thank yeah. you. This little market in the village sells vegetables from the farms. Wow. So we have uh, morning glory. Yes. But this morning glory, we plant in the water, not in the farm. It's in the okay. right field. The market sellers support local people by selling their products. They are open every day from early morning until late afternoon. Ah, okay. It's not a fish farm, it's a natural fish. So look, they clean their skin. Yeah. This time is the season for catching the fish from the lake. Yeah, it's the air fish. I can say that all the products here, they are organic. All organic. Inside the vegetable, we have the food, local people, the salad. This one is the called chicken from the farm. They clean at least two months, they get the two kilo. The chicken, but this is the natural chicken. They feed six or five men, they can get one kilo. It's longer than that. It's longer than this. This is natural chicken. Yeah, you see different, uh, different color. Yeah, color, the skin. Different. Also, this duck. You have duck. This one is duck. They, they feed for the meat. So another duck, they feed for the egg. Oh, Here okay. is duck egg. Right now we finish the market tour. Okay. We're going to start the village tour cool. to see how people living 
Yeah, they have to doing. So really like us uh, village. Okay. So we learn a lot from the villager. Okay. They started to okay. really tour. Okay. After we visited the market, we went to see a lovely family by ox cart. And our tour guide showed us their farm and their house. Inside the market tour, we let you experience the village tour, how people live in. Look at here, this is the salad, the seed. The first, they went the land here and they threw the seed and then put the water. And this one, just uh, like a few days, the, the seed's coming. This is the baby uh, salad. Oh, okay. Yeah. So look oh. at here. And about spend about one week they can take to replant like that you see it oh okay yeah. so this one at least two weeks the two weeks so all vegetable they plant by hand or uh, they put the compost organic from the cow down okay yeah. and previous they grow up is two weeks over two weeks it's old it's hard to eat fish up that uh, makes a lot they make okay. salad. Do you smell it? Mm. They make a fish salad. Uh, oh, it smells very uh, nice. Very nice. Besides, uh, they put in the right field. They take the compost to put in the farm also. Okay. To, because this compost from the some from the dark uh, push or the cow push, or we can call the the sheet. Okay. Compost. Okay. Yeah. They have dark, they have chicken. Yes, look at the dark. Very nice dark. Ooh. Now, look at here, cow. It's a, look here, we call rice straw. Rice straw, when the, the harvesting, they keep for the cow eat. Ah, okay. okay. That's, okay. that's very smart after they harvest. Take the rice to keep for the cow. Okay, after the village tour, market tour, we continue by ox cart again. <laughs> okay. To see another village. Please go first. Thank you. Um. Okay. You get it. So yeah. you can sit like that. One house cat can sit three or four people, one family. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, one family. One family. House cat is the best transportation uh, for Cambodia during the Angkor regime. So, the well, everything made from the wood. Yeah, I can see that. Now we finished from Oxcar tour, so we come to see the another farm. Okay. Okay, the way you start here. It looks our place for take a rest and see some half on steel here. There are five types of Khmer houses, but house, Katang house, Khmer house, Rong Dao House and Rong Dung House. This family live in one kind of traditional Khmer house called Rong Dao. They build it high up and toilet is separate from the house. They stay downstairs in the cool during the day times and they sleep upstairs at night. The reason they build it up so high is because at night time, they are scared of the animals and floods. Most of the house in this village have dogs to guard their house and property. They time they stay in upstairs, midnight, stay upstairs, and the daytime they stay downstairs. 
and look, they plant herb, vegetable here. This ba they plant basil here. This That's basil. Is a basil. Oh. Yeah, basil here. Also here, the some is the spearmint, spearmint and basil. So early morning, the farm they cut the herb vegetable to the market that you see in this morning. Yes. Yeah. This is from farm like that. For the last part of our tour, we want to see a kind old lady's house and see how she prepares the rice after she's harvested it. If you come at the right time, they will show you how they plant and harvest the rice by hand. But unfortunately for us, the rice has been planted and it's still not ready to be harvested yet. So we only got to see what they are doing during this time. Most of Cambodia has two rice crops each year. A rainy season crop, long cycle, and a dry season crop. The bigger crops is planted in late May through July, when the first rains begin and soften up the land. But in this area, they can grow the rice three times a year because they have water from the Tonle Sap Lake. There are five steps to get the rice. This is a very traditional style. I was so happy to join her because I had never done it before. Okay, Ria, after the Oxcar tour, village tour, rice field tour, now we started to see, let you know how to make rice by hand. Okay. The traditional way of Cambodia during the Angkor period until now. They still keep this way to scrapping the rice by hand because uh, the small amount they're doing by herself, but big amount uh, like uh, one ton they take to machine to scrapping. But small family they use this one because uh, use the uh, agriculture tool to make rice by hand. It's organic rice that okay. they make by hand. So let's start to uh, see me how uh, oh. we're doing. Okay. Okay, Aria, here's the rice that we harvest from the field. Yes. So after we harvest, we dry under the sun at least three or four days. And okay. then we pick up by ox cart here. Okay. Yeah. And then we dry after that, we pushing in. See? We have, uh, you see, the rice sheet is coming here. Oh, can I try it? Yeah, you can try here. You pull it. It's hard? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Mm, okay. Oh, another step. You can do uh, stepping like that. Uh, we have uh, one more thing. If we would like to take the right to replant again, we will not punching. We're not punching it. Punching it, uh, quality is 80% to grow up. But if we doing shaking like that, you see it? Oh, okay. If we stepping, uh, standing, it uh, grow up 100% because it's not break the rice sheet. If you're punching, you break some... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, after we punching, and then we take the rice right, right under the sun, and then we keep in the uh, scrapping motor. The scrapping motor is made by stone. Okay. So we start it like that. Here, it's okay. man and lady. So oh, that's true. We can start it okay. to push, pull, Oh. Okay. There you go. Okay, so uh, finish one time and we'd like you to show how this process. Okay, here is the tea they make to break the rice. You see it? Yes. So okay. here. 
and when we put here to scrapping to make a rice. So you can come here, Arya. You learn to experience. You see it? We select the rice seed. Here, just take the skin yeah, away. And the rice spill here. Okay, the second. You select. Okay, you see it now it's complete. But uh, this one we will take to put the scrapping again. But this one we make polish. You take to polish. It's not polish. It's hard to eat. It's hard to eat. So, okay, now we go to polish, and then after polish, checking again, it's complete. Okay. okay we continue to the polish motor polish. Oh. You see, look at here. Before we polish and after, look. Now it's no rice powder. After we polish around five minutes, the rice powder is coming. Okay. okay. Okay, we after we polish, you see it, the rice powder. You see it? This is the rice powder. You know, it's a little bit not good, but if we be not dry enough, chan. If we dry under the sun enough, it's uh, scrapping, it's not break so much. Okay, we start the checking again. Okay, so after we checking, we have to pick up the rice seed like that. But before we cook, we have to clean with the water another pot and then we cook. Yeah. This is ready to cook. Ready to cook. Uh, this one you can take to make the rice wine, and this good quality we cook it with the family. Okay. Yeah. This finish. Okay. okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you. Get out of After I had an amazing morning, it's time for lunch now. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give us like, comment and subscribe for more videos. And please also consider to contact us for the tour arrangement. Our company is always providing the best services and safety. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great time. Bye-bye.